Hello awesome people, welcome back to Parcel Location video tutorial. In this video, we are going to continue with our beginner's lesson and this is part 7. So, uh, we are going to add a little awesome logo here like I have done here. You see that it's very amazing and it's not difficult in doing. So, all this, all this stuff is going to help you master your, your Photoshop or uh, all these things is going to help you in your workflow so without much i do let's dive into it so first of all we want to make a very cute circle here you already know that rectangular two here is it the first one but what, what but what if you want to make a circle come 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 down here you see ellipse two click on it and you'll be on the ellipse two so what you can do is that you see that uh, i i already told you that every two has its option or two bar and here is the two bar for the ellipse two so you see that we are in shape here and we want to draw in path not in shape because we want to add a test around the circle that we want to draw so i will select path and then i'll come all the way here and draw my path you see that i'm not holding anything so my circle is distorting and I don't want it this way. This is crazy. I want something perfect. So I'll hold shift to make it more accurate. You see that it is more accurate than no holding the shift. So hold it and you'll be good to go. Then when you get to a place where you are satisfied, leave it and you'll be fine. You see that a path just drawn for us. So to zoom into our work, we will hold alt and use the mouse scroll bar to zoom in and zoom out or you can still use hold control and hit on the minus key on the keyboard to to zoom out and hit on the plus key on the keyboard to zoom in or better still if all of these things is not helping you you can use the zoom to here you see zoom to you can just click on z for it you can use your mouse hold drag 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 to zoom in drag 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 to zoom out all right so what i recommend for you is hold your alt key use your mouse scroll bar to zoom in and zoom out all right then uh, after you finish drawing your path we want to add a test to it so look for your test or the shortcut t yes or, or the shortcut is t but go and click your test to here just hold, hold hold the test and it will open the other items in it for you to see so you will see the shortcut also nearby the tools so it's t just click on t for the test so as you have the test you see that when you you come closer to the path that you just drawn you see that there is there, there's going to be a change you see that the little bar comes when when you are close to the path a little bar comes when when it comes inside the bar also change to circle this means that you want to tie something in so you see that when i select inside this is what i get and when we start typing something you see that it will be in the circle and we don't want it this way so i will click on the escape to see that i don't want what i did so for you to step back in photoshop or to undo in photoshop go to edit and see toggle last state or undo new state so 
you will toggle the last state and it will undo for us and you see the shortcut is near to it alt alt control z or undo lip 2 just click on control z to undo all right so let's come back so with with the with our test to selected and uh path drawn we will change when a line comes to the test then at the at one of the boxes around the ellipse or the circle we just click on that area on that area and start typing our test so i'll type in the test got go to the international church and hit on enter or the commit changes then after that you can move to your move to click on it and you see that we want to center this around here so i'll just select my test tool again and you see the center will come and i'll click on it at the top and you see that it's centered at a different place where i don't want it so what i can do is that i'll click on my move to i'll be in my move to go to edit transform and select rotate so i'll rotate and i'll hold shift to rotate when you hold shift and rotate it to be rotating in degrees like 15 degrees 30 degrees uh, 45 degrees and so on 60 degrees so this is negative 90 degrees and i'll leave it and click commit changes and you see that by you got you got our test centered here and someone will say how can you also bring a test at the bottom here so what you can do is that we can't do it on the same layer you can't do it on the same layer unless we do it on a different layer so what we can do is that we will right click and duplicate the layer click on ok you can rename it if you want and then we will go to we will rotate our test again so edit transform path and rotate then this one too we are going to rotate hold your shift to stick to degrees like this and commit changes but you see that this one our test is upside down we want the test to come up so you grab our path selection tool then with the path selection tool you can move our test inside leave it and you can commit changes okay so i will move my test down a little bit like this for it to be in line with the first test yeah something like this is okay then with my ellipse tool selected i'll make a perfect circle hold you see that the first time that we drew we use the ellipse to we we left the changes at path but this one we want a shape so we will open we will open it and click on shape then if you don't hold shift our circle is not going to perfect so i'll hold shift for it to give me a nice circle then i will leave it 
click on OK to commit changes and I'll move all the way to the test. Then from there, you see that we talk about layers in the section one or the part one that the layers cover what is below it and you see that the ellipse to have cover the test. So if you want to see the test, we just have to move it all the way down and our test will be shown. Okay. You see that our test is not all properly aligned or but we are not looking at perfection here. As you understand the tools and everything, the rest you can do them. So this is how you can go about it. So you can see that our test is not all that aligned. So so with the with our test selected, we can let me rename and change it to maybe a Google branch. With this with the test selected, I can go to edit transform path and maybe destore it. So with the destore I can Hold Alt only and drag it outwards to make it straighten a little bit for you and click Commit Changes. So now we can have a perfect alignment and we can increase the size. To increase the size, go to Edit and we can increase it and position it as we want. You see that we have a problem here, so you can go back to the the store, and we can restore it a bit, and we'll be good to go. So this is a way you can do some logo in your in Photoshop using test and the tools. So with my with the ellipse two that I drew, I will right click on it to duplicate the layer, save and I'll go to edit. As I said, if you want to really learn Photoshop, then you have to learn some of the uh, shortcuts. So we want to scale what I just copied, the ellipse two that I just copied that I just copy you want to scale it down so if you want to scale something that you can use the free transform and the free transform the shortcut is control T so when the free transform comes then you hold hot and drag over the edge inside so that it will so that it will squeeze inside or it will scale it down inside Without holding the alt, it will scale up to a different place, but hold the alt to scale it inside for you nicely, like this. And then you can leave it and save changes. And maybe you want to make here something like black. And the edges, you see that we have, let me zoom in and for you to see, you see that you have a black on the on the on the ellipse or the circle that you drew is because when you select a uh, two ellipse two you see that the stroke was was turned on so if I if I close it the stroke will be gone so if I want a stroke on it just select the two select the layer choose your to and you have the panel here open it and maybe turn it to black and you can increase the stroke size to maybe four and click on ok then you can see what you just did awesome right okay so you see that we are almost there let's add something to it to make it nice so at my rectangular two 
or shapes to I'll choose I'll look for polygon to and I will draw a nice polygon five shape or with five sides hold my shift to make it proportional and I'll click on OK but I want to change the color or fill and you can change your fill here you can come and change your fill here you know Photoshop you can do you can do a particular thing with a bunch of options like two or three options so I'll I'll close the fill for the stroke and and the fill for the main work out uh, the fill for the main polygon I'll I'll choose Y for it and I can select anywhere and see the changes that I made it I made and I can hold out we are we are duplicating the layer and we have already learned this hold out drag over the layer and hold shift to make it proportional otherwise it will go to a different place when you hold shift it will bring it to a straight line and you get something perfect like this then from there you can adjust or you can adjust or make it very nice how you want it and you see that this one the letters are too close and i want to open so for you to open it just at your property panel you see the tracking you just have to increase your tracking and it will open the test for you let me go like 50 mm, 50 is not bad let me see 100 yeah then it did a great job there you see that we are almost there and let's add the bible to it so grab your test to then select where you want to type and type in what you desire to type i'll type in bible and i will leave the font here midrid pro and select bold for it and the shortcut for free transform so that you can scale anything is control T. Then you can scale it as you wish. You see that there is too many space on the Bible. It's because we just increase the tracking. So the tracking is 100 now. So we want to reduce it back. Then op open the drop down arrow and send it back to zero. You see that? The it is now closed now so what we can do here to store our test is select your test tool and I like I said every tool here has an option that you can use it to edit it more or take it to advance so with the test tool selected and with the with the toolbar appearing here or the options click on this test with the arc at the down click on it. it it is called rip test and then with the rip test we have style and the style is none now so you can change the style to arc beautiful right <laughs> and you can change to arc lower and you get something cool like this can change it to arc upper anything that your heart desire just select it and it will be fine you see the different effects photoshop has in store for you and you can do so amazing with it and what is good about this is that when you select something that you like and maybe you want to make changes to it you can do so with just toggling with these things, this horizontal vertical distortion, and you'll be good to go. You see, Photoshop is just an amazing tool. 
that everyone should learn and maybe you see that what you did you have destroyed you, you have destroyed your work and you want to go back just click on it and select now and you you will go back so i will use this wow you see you see the effects just so awesome and i can increase it just like this and let me increase the horizontal the vertical a bit just playing with it you can also play with yours i'm just playing with mine okay something like this is cool for me and then i want to increase the test a little bit so i can just select in it and use my arrow keys to increase it so maybe i want it at 80 82 you see the changes is affecting here after i'm done i will just click on enter for me for it to commit the changes for me and get back to my move tool then i would like to add some amazing effects but you have how you have a video on how to apply effect on your test or apply effect on anything but just a quick one at the bottom here the fx the fx just click on it and select blending option then with your blending option open with your blending option open you can do so much here click on the first one bevel and the embos click on it just take this one and you can hold your mouse and drag it around to see the effect you see awesome right yes this is so awesome just with just a click we made these changes to it let let us see before so see before after awesome 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 so you can increase some of the some of them to get what you really want yeah something like this is cool for me and i can and i can apply a bunch of stuffs here but it's going to be a different tutorial Lay, when you are done applying a scout to your layer just click on ok and it will be saved so to see the before and after you just click on the effect visibility before after also features in photoshop right so we just did this and in the next video you are going to learn more so please make sure you subscribe like the video share for someone to also benefit thank you very much bye bye